Hey everyone, this is Brandon the Movie Guy back up and it's time for a VHS, DVD, and Blu-ray update for August 21st, 2018. I have four VHS tapes, five DVDs, and five Blu-rays to show. Which, um, last week I ordered, um, three VHS tapes, one DVD, and one Blu-ray on eBay, plus another VHS on Amazon. And yesterday I received... My tape from Amazon, one of the tapes from eBay, plus my DVD and Blu-ray from eBay. And today I received my other two VHSs, which came together in a lot. And I also um, went to two different stores, Walmart and Dollar General. At Walmart I got three DVDs and three Blu-rays. And at Dollar General I got one DVD and one Blu-ray, so... Let's get started. And we're going to start with the VHS tapes. The first two are the ones that came together in a lot, and I got both of them today. And these are both Nickelodeon tapes from Sony Wonder. First one being the 1994 release of Nickelodeon Friends Variety Pack. Hosted by Ren and Stimpy, contains 10 essential characters. And this contains clips from episodes of Clarissa Explains It All, Rugrats, Rocco's Modern Life, and Doug. Special program never before seen on video. And I have not seen Clarissa Explains at all, but I do like all the other shows that are featured on this tape. No artificial flavors or colors. And it advertises some other Nickelodeon tapes from Sony Wonder on the back. Yup. And here's the tape with the orange sticker label, which is pretty cool. Running time is 30 minutes. And there is no print date. And next one is another Nickelodeon tape from Sony Wonder, which... Which, like I said, this tape and that tape came together in a lot. And this is the 1996 VHS of Running Stimpy Nothing But Shorts, the unwashed collection. 22 shorts and commercial parodies. And this was actually one of the very last Nickelodeon tapes released by Sony Wonder before Paramount took over the rights. Special collection just for video. And if you want to read the shorts that are on this tape, you can just pause and read it yourself. Running time is approximately 50 minutes. Here's the sticker label and an orange tape, like usual. And this one does have a day and year print date. Printed on the 323rd day of 1995. So this is an early print because this tape was actually released in 1996. And next is the tape that came in from Amazon yesterday. And that is the 2003 VHS of Star Trek Nemesis. This is a 2002 Star Trek film. A Generation's Final Journey Begins. Thumbs up. Stands alone as an engaging intergalactic thrower with Richard Roper of Eber and Roper. More than just a great Star Trek film, it's just a great film. as Marcus Allen, KMAX, TV, UPN, Sacramento. Exciting. Inventive twist plus the unexpected shoot sparks of surprise throughout the pictures as Gene shot of today. And it stars Patrick Stewart, Jonathan Frakes, Brent Spiner, LeVar Burton, Michael Dorn, Gates McFadden, and Marina Sirtis. Rated PG-13 for sci-fi action violence and peril and a scene of sexual content. And it's 116 minutes. Here's the sticker label. Former rental from West End Video, and unfortunately the week and year code is blocked by the rental sticker, so I can't see what it is, unfortunately. But I do know it's a 2003 VHS. And now here's the last VHS for the update, which is the one other VHS I got from eBay, and this did come yesterday. And this one's a Hollywood Pictures preview tape of Taking Care of Business, which is a 1990 Hollywood Pictures film. The $20 million comedy hit starring James Belushi and Charles Grodin. 
Yeah, and this was actually the very first Hollywood Pictures film to get a home video release, as I found out. Although it was the second one theatrically released, because the first one was Arachnophobia. So I do have the retail VHS of that. Contains the full length feature film, rated R, approximately 113 minutes. And this has a light blue vertical sticker label. And the print date is November 24th, 1990. And it's recorded on a scotch tape. Yeah, the actual VHS of this was released in 1991. But the demo tape was printed in 1990. So yeah, very cool find. So those were the VHS tapes. Now onto the five DVDs, which I will point out which one I got from eBay and which one I got from Dollar General. But if I don't see anything, it means I got it at Walmart. So, first one is the 2018 release of The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Three Complete Seasons, which contains the complete fourth, fifth, and sixth seasons. I do also have the first season of The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air on DVD, but I still have yet to get seasons two and three, although hopefully next week after I get paid again for my job, I will hopefully order them from either eBay or Amazon. And of course, this show needs no introduction. And season four originally aired from 1993 to 1994. Season five from 1994 to 1995. And season six, the final season, aired from 1995 to 1996. Not rated. Season four is 584 minutes. Season five, 575 minutes. And season six, 542 minutes. And unfortunately couple pieces are broken inside the case, so I guess the Walmart employees probably handled it a little too roughly, but here's all four discs for season four. The three discs for season five. And the three discs for season six. And next one I got out of the $5 bin at Walmart. The 2003 DVD of The Ghost of Mr. Chicken. This is a 1966 film starring Don Knotts from Don Knotts Comedy Classics. He's in the middle of a mystery without a clue. I know Don Knotts movies are considered to be pretty funny, so I decided to go ahead and get this. It also stars... Um... Joan Staley, Liam Redman, and Dick Sargent includes the original theatrical trailer. Not rated, and it's 1 hour and 30 minutes, aka 90 minutes. Here's the disc, and this is a reprint from 2016. Even though I'm pretty sure this DVD will still have the original content. And next is the DVD that I got from eBay yesterday. And you may remember, um, if you saw my last update, I got the 2002 DVDs of Jackass Volumes 2 and 3. Well, now I finally got Jackass Volume 1. And this is actually a 2005 DVD. For whatever reason, Volumes 2 and 3 were released in 2002, yet Volume 1 did not get released until 2005. Why that is, I have no idea, but whatever. There's a special feature, you can just pause and read it yourself. And the episodes on here are from 2000 to 2002. Not rated, and it's 120 minutes. And there's the desk. And next is the DVD that I got at Dollar General today. And that is the 2000 DVD of King Creole, starring Elvis Presley. And this is a 1958 film renewed in 1986. It also has Carolyn Jones and Walter Matthau. Elvis sings King Creole, Trouble, Hard-Headed Woman, Lover Doll, and more. And the only special feature is the theatrical trailer. And this copy is a reprint distributed by Warner Home Video, even though Warner Home Video no longer distributes Paramount's titles. Rated PG, and it's 115 minutes. 
Here's the disc and it's still the original release from 2000. I heard pretty good things about this movie so I'll definitely sit down and watch it at some point. And now here's the last DVD for the update. And that is the 2015 release of Paddington. 2014 film based on the um, character Paddington Bear. Yeah, based on the um, books, I believe. From the producer of Harry Potter, a little bear will make a big splash. This movie stars Hugh Bonneville, Sally Hawkins, Julie Walters, Jim Broadbent, Peter Capaldi with Nicole Kidman, and Ben Whishaw as the voice of Paddington. Yeah. And there are the special features. You can just pause and read all to yourself. It's just a few of them. Rated PG for mild action and rude humor, and it's 95 minutes. And there's the disc. And by the way, I did get this out of the 374 bin at Walmart. And I did hear really great things about this movie and the sequel, Paddington 2, which I might get that sometime. So I will have to watch this at some point. That's it for the DVDs. Now onto the five Blu-rays, which I will point out which one I got at Dollar General and which one I got from eBay. But again, if I don't say anything, then I got it at Walmart. So first one, this movie I saw in theaters back on May 2nd of this year. And that is the 2018 release of Avengers Infinity War. Also a 2018 Marvel Studios film. Over two hours of bonus including deleted scenes, gag reel, epic featurettes, and more. And I'm sure this movie does not need an introduction. Epic event says Peter Travers over one stone. Yes, indeed it is. The payoff is worth the wait, says Sarah Stewart at New York Post. It has a lot of bonus extras, which I'm not even going to bother reading. Here's the actual Blu-ray case itself. And the cast list is insanely long, so I am not going to even bother reading it. So, you all know the drill. Rated PG-13 for intense sequences of sci-fi violence and action throughout languages and crude references. And it's approximately 149 minutes. There's the disc. And the insert and code for Disney Movie Rewards. And yes, I did already use the code. Very awesome movie. And the next Blu-ray, this one actually just came out today. And this particular movie I saw at the Delcy Drive-In in Vinewood, in New Jersey on May 25th. Along with Super Troopers 2, which I got the Blu-ray of that last month at Walmart after it came out. And that is the 2018 release of Deadpool 2. The super duper cut. Spanking new DP2 unrated cut with 15 minutes more filling. It also does include the theatrical cut as well. And this was a very awesome sequel. Even though I do slightly prefer the original Deadpool, but this was still an awesome sequel. The sequel to the first one. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. The super duper cut now with 15 minutes of brand new action and jokes lovely inserted throughout. Experience your second time like it's the first time. A work of genius. It is epic. I can't believe I just said that to Hugh Jackman actor, someone like you. And there's the special features list. Just pause and read to yourself. Yeah, I know I sound like a broken record saying that. Here's the actual case. And this movie stars Ryan Reynolds, Josh Brolin, Marina Baccarin, Julian Dennison, Zazie Beetz, TJ Miller, Brianna Hillbrand, and Jack Kesey, Casey or whatever. Theatrical versions rated R for strong violence and language throughout sexual references and brief drug material, and it's 119 minutes. 
The unrated version contains material different from the original R-rated version. And when I watch this movie on Blu-ray, it's going to be the extended um, super duper cut. And here are both the Blu-ray discs. Here's the one for the theatrical version. Hashtag going strong since 06. <laughs> and the super duper cut. Hashtag longer is better. Yeah, I like how they actually put some creativity on these discs for once. Instead of making them the bland blue and whitish gray discs. Here's the movies anywhere insert and code. Which any, anyone wants it, you know the drill. And here's an ad for the Marvel Strike Force app game. So, yeah. The next one is the Blu-ray that... Sorry about that, these were just... DVDs were just starting the slide. Next is the one that I got at Dollar General. And it's the 2014 release of Rockstar. This is a 2001 film with Mark Wahlberg and Jennifer Aniston. The story of a wannabe who gotta be. Unbelievably exciting that thunders across the screen says Jeffrey Lines at WBC TV New York. Special features. It also has Jason Fleming, Timothy Oliphant, Timothy Spall, and Dominic West. Rated R for language, sexuality, and drug content, and it's 106 minutes. Here's the disc. And the Digital HD Ultraviolet Code, which already expired on May 20th, 2017, so I don't know if it'll still work or not. But there it is anyway if you want to try it. And here's an ad for Voodoo. This movie looks pretty good, so... I'll have to check it out someday. And next is the Blu-ray that I got yesterday from eBay. And this is completing my Star Trek movie collection. And that is the 2013 release of Star Trek The Darkness, which is also a 2013 film. And this copy was originally a Target exclusive because it comes with the planned save coupons up to $10 off on future purchases of select Paramount movies on DVD and Blu-ray. Which I'll show you in a minute. I'll show everything else first. Spectacular exhilarating fun says Claudia Puig USA Today. Sleek thrilling epics is Owen Glimmer of Entertainment Weekly. Yep. Now I'll show you the actual Blu-ray case. And this movie stars John Cho, Benedict Cumberbatch, Alice Eve, Bruce Greenwood, Simon Pegg, Chris Pine, Zachary Quinto, Zoe Saldana, Carl Urban, Peter Weller, and Anton Yelchin. And this is directed by J.J. Abrams. Ray PG-13 for 10 sequences of sci-fi action and violence, 131 minutes. Here's the Blu-ray and the DVD. And the digital copy code which, are, which supposedly expired on September 10, 2015 but there it is anyway if you want to try it. And here's an ad for other Paramount movies on the back. And here's Plan and Save on Paramount movies exclusively at Target. Which all of these expired on November 23, 2013. And on the back it's identical to the front, except it also says look inside for big savings. So, yeah. So now that I have all the Star Trek movies, I'm going to have to find time to watch them. Even though I've only seen the first two Star Trek movies, but I will have to start watching the other ones and work my way to the end. So, let me get this back in quickly. And now here's the last Blu-ray for the update. This Blu-ray originally was released in 2013, but it's the 2015 re-release of Two Guns. Also 2013 film with Denzel Washington and Mark Wahlberg. And also Paul Patton, Bill Paxton, 
or should I say the late Bill Paxton, Fred Ward, James Marsden, and Edward James Olmos. Action-packed, action-packed Mark and Denzel delivers is Joel D. Amos of MovieFanHack.com. Washington and Wahlberg are at their very best as Pete Hammond in movie line. Rated R for violence throughout, language brief nudity, 1 hour and 50 minutes, aka 110 minutes. Here's the disc and the digital HD co, which I do not know if this is expired or not, so I guess you guys are going to have to try it for yourself if you want it. I own these action packed favorite movies on Blu ray and high def. Which besides the besides two guns, I also do have Scarface on VHS, and that movie is awesome. And this movie looks pretty cool as well, so I'm gonna have to give this a watch at some point. And there you have it, guys. That's gonna do it for my VHS DVD and Blu-ray update for August 21st, 2018. This is Burning the Movie Guy back up, signing off.